Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part we took on uh, Celestic Town and we took on um, the other part of um, Route 211. We battled some trainers, we battled some Team Gal we battled a Team Galactic Grunt. We met Cyrus, who I call Sonic Man I guess. <laughs> we learned about the um, least legendary Pokemon too. We got the HMO3 for safe, we taught that to Jetta. And now we're gonna, we now we're back at um, Heart Home to take on the um, gym because we now have four badges now. And after you have four badges, you can come back here and the gym leader can return. Or will return. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? The gym leader here is a use of ghost type Pokemon. Beware, normal type Pokemon moves have no effect at all on ghosts. Um, it's as if they weren't there. Um, but you'll have to see for yourself. Get, go get him, challenger. I believe in you. Okay, so we're gonna have to... Yeah, go. this elevator is kind of slow, but that's okay. So we read the sign, it's a math question. Okay, so question. Uh, 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 2 for the left door, uh, 16 for the middle door, or 15 for the right door. So 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 7 is 15. Now I'm, I'm purposely going to um, not use the, not go through the right door. Um, just so I can get experience from the trainers, so I'm gonna f do the f correct door is the right door But I'm gonna choose the left and the middle door just so I can battle them for experience So yeah, and you also have a calculator in your Poketch too Don't you have a Poketch or did you screw up a deliberty? Yes, I did that on purpose just to battle you Be honored, man Okay, there we go. Let's go to the middle door next. Here's the last. Um, she says, Hee hee, you threw the quiz so you'd get to battle me, right? Yes, of course. I meant, I accidentally clicked awkward chat and yeah, that didn't work out really well, but I used crunch anyway, so that's okay. Yeah. Wait, let me check the levels very quick. Level 32 and level 3. Okay, yeah. I'll keep, um, jet up front then. So the correct door is the right door, of course, as I said before. So, um, if you read the correct controls, yeah. Okay. Now we go up this elevator, up another elevator actually. Okay, so question 12 plus 28 is 40. So the middle door is the correct door. So I want to choose the left and the right door for the trainers. Okay. So let's just do that. Here's a picnicker, dude. I've been to all sorts of places. That means I know tons of things. Okay, that was a fairly simple battle. Uh, the middle door is the correct door, so let's go to the right door then. And he has a picnicker. Um, she has probably gas leaks or something, or mischievous, I don't know. Um, I'm afraid of picnicking any. I'm, I'm not afraid of picnicking anywhere, so I've learned all sorts of things. So that picnic ended up having a drift room and a um, mischievous, so that's pretty cool. Let's switch to Karen though. Metal door is the correct door, of course. C congrats, congratulations, or uh, correct, congratulations. Yeah, there we go, I read it right the first time, cool. I read it right the first time, yeah, that's good. Okay, here's another um, elevator we have to go up. Okay, so question three. Uh, uh, question, 3 times 3 is 13 is 39. 
So the left door is the correct door. Oh wait, I think the last door is like uh, it's uh, what was the answer to the first question or something, which I didn't, I didn't pay attention to really. Uh, shoot, I I, I just realized that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, the left door for this one is the correct answer. So yeah, here's this cool kid. Okay, I'm st I study subjects like Pokemon and history. You know all the important things. Okay, that Haunter was annoying. It put Karen to sleep first, then it confused it. Luckily, I got that critical hit though, so that's good. Here's another, um, I think this is a Skull Girl, I could be wrong. I've probably studied more about Pokemon than you. I don't know, I've had a lot of experience with studying Pokemon, but we'll see. Karen was so close to level 34 in that last battle, but yeah, the correct door is the right left door right here. Yeah, and it's correct. Okay, correct. Congratulations. Um, I think this is the last uh, room or phase before the gym later too. The answer to the first room's answer. Um, I think it was 15. So uh, that yeah, the right door is probably the right door. Is the right door? <laughs> right door on the right. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. Yeah, okay, I'm wrong. good. I'm probably I'm pretty much right then. Because if the left door is in the trainer, then I was actually the quick dancer would be 15 then, and that'd be the right door. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use a couple potions on, um, Karen and Jetta. So, yeah. Okay, that should be good. And this is probably, from the 5th gym, uh, to the 8th gym, it's probably when I'm gonna have to go back and heal, uh, Pokemon, because uh, my Pokemon are really beat up. I want to get all its po their power points, um, you know, restored, and 15 was the right answer, so there was the right door, is the right door to the gym later. So yeah, let's battle this uh, Ace Trainer. Seriously, kid, why don't you answer the quiz properly? Because I want to battle you for experience. Uh, you can get the gym leader without a problem. Waste of my time. Oh, we'll, we'll see about that. It's not a waste of my time, bro. <laughs> now I gotta knock you around a bit. Aw. With that, Karen grew level 35 and learned Assurance, uh, not Assurance, but Faint Attack, and I got rid of Assurance because Faint Attack never misses, it has 10 more PP, and it has 10 more power, base power, so yeah. Although, I'm gonna go back to this Pokemon Center and heal, so let me do that. I wanna switch around my Pokemon real quick, just switch the two. Jetta, yeah, I'll switch Jetta to the front. And hopefully we can do well in the Pokemon battle. I'll see you guys um, in a second, but I'll also review the Gym Puzzle too on my way back. Okay, to review this puzzle, let's do this. Um, let's read the sign first, but first let's get up with the elevator. So, yeah. Uh, question 3, 3 plus 8, 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 15. Okay, so the right door. You wanna go through the right door. And you're correct, okay, cool. And <laughs> yeah. Look up this elevator then. 
Next question. Um, 12 plus 28 is 40, so middle doorway. You want to get to the middle doorway. And we got this elevator again. Okay, thir 3 times 13 is 39. So the, the left door. The first one to the left. And we got that one right, okay. And I think this is the last uh, quite room with a question in three doors, I should say. Okay, the end of the first room is 15, so we go to the far right. So there we go. And here's Fantina. Um, make sure you are healed up and ready to go, but when you're ready, you can talk to her. Oh, 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 oh. Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this country, I always... I, since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold a contest in the city. I say to myself, Effin, I will excel. Then that is why I dream this way. Uh, ceased one performance. One performance. Uh, also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be the gym waiter, and uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, no one. So here's Fantina, the fifth gym leader of Sinnoh. Use of ghost type Pokemon. Use your master. I mean, whatever. Let's just battle her. Her drift form is level 32, okay. I'm gonna start off with Jetta. And we're gonna try Crunch, see how much it does. Now, Fantina's actually a really hard gym leader. Because she has good Pokemon and stuff. But we'll have to see how we handle her. Minimize, okay. You're gonna make it harder for us to hit it, for, for us to hit her drift bloom, drift blim. Okay, quick claw. Will I still hit though? Was just still hit? Okay, cool. Yes, but this drift bloom um also has the ability aftermath, which causes the damage after it faints. So like that, <laughs> yeah. Jetta got hurt by some of drift bloom's aftermath. Yeah, that's not fun. But that, with that, Jetta grew to level 34, so that's pretty cool. So Jetta and um, Karen are just running away with being overleveled right now compared to the other members of the team. I think that was... Was it Miss Magius? Yes, okay. Miss Magius is their main Pokemon. Uh, I think this knows this Miss Magius knows Magical Leaf, which I'm worried about because, you know, Jetta's weak to Grass-type moves. But we'll see how I do. This Miss Magius is level 36, and Quick Claw, again... Gets, uh, Jetta gets the first move, which is awesome. So yeah. Ooh, and a critical hit. Wow, that was lucky. Will we go for an epic Fletzel sweep now? I'm gonna try for that. So she has only one more Pokemon, which is a Gengar. So yeah, I don't want to switch Pokemon. But yeah. Gengar. Okay. What is this, my final Pokemon? What happened? What is this? This is my final Pokemon? I'm sorry, Fantina, but it is your final Pokemon. Man, Jetta's just outspeeded everything on her team so far, and with the help of the Quick Claw, too. Okay, one more Crunch should do it, but we'll see what this um, Gengar does. It uses Confuse, right? Ooh. Making it a little interesting, trying to make Jetta hit itself, hit herself in confusion. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but, you know, never give up, never surrender. Good voids to live by. I like how she's just still holding on. That's good. Okay, quick call activated first. Um, so I get, so Jetta gets the first move, but will it hit itself in confusion? Uh, nope, it won't. Okay, so that was an epic full sweep. But it's, well, it's not official yet. And now it's official because the Gengar fainted. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And Jetta is level 35. Jeez. She gained two levels in that battle, I just realized. You are fantastically strong. Or fascinatingly strong. Ah, I didn't read the rest of your dialogue. Thanks for 4,320 Poké Dollars, though. I am dumbfounded. Um, so very, very strong. You and your Pokémon. You, your Pokémon, so strong. Your power is, is admirable. Um, I shall honor it with this gym badge. See so if we see the Relic badge from Fantina. Cool. Okay. So that badge will let you use the hidden move serve outside of battle. Also, you can make use of this technical machine. That is what I think. We got the TM65, which is Shadow Claw. 
which I don't think you, actually, you didn't get shit on the battle, but she'll explain it now. That TM65, it tingles Shadow Claw, which is a ghost type move. It's really good, actually. It's a very startling move. It is. Uh, it hits. It hits. It hits turn critical often. Yep. Okay, so. That's pretty cool. Let's just get out of this gym. It's a long way out, though. And these elevators make so much noise. They make a lot of noise. But we can deal with that, I guess. It's okay. So we got our fifth gym badger for Sinnoh, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, we only need three more gym badgers to enter the Pokemon League, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, so we got that on some more elevators. I totally was off there. There we go. And I think there's one more elevator we have to go down. Should be the last elevator. Yeah, I was right. Okay, cool. Oh no, I forgot to talk to the Vice Giver. Ah! Oh, here's Cynthia. I'll talk to him and go back in in a second. I'm glad to see you. You're not... I'm. Um, you're not very easy to track down. <laughs> My grandma told me about what ha what took place in Swastik Town. Thanks for what you did in the ruins. But that Team Galactic. I thought they were just a just an eccentric um bunch of freaks. You know, talking about how they're going to make a new universal and that weird way they dress too. I thought they were just what they are harmless. It appears as if they are. If they are a lot more troubled than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon, that's just plain wrong. By the way, do you know, uh, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, uh, you may want to visit the Can library in Candlelight City. They have some ancient books that you might find interesting. It's, it may be it also, it may also be of help to the po completion of your Pokedex. I think you ought to go there. Okay, bye bye for now. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon. Go back to the um, Vice Giver and talk to him. Okay, oh Steven, you beat the gym leader. That seems to be no end to how tough you are getting. At least that's how I see it. You do realize I say that to everyone, right? I guess. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> how about City Pokemon Gym Waiter Fantina? Certified Trainer Sam Steven. Cool. So there's actually a couple of like, side quests you can do um, with, now that we can use Surf outside of battle, which I'll do in the next part. So we're not going to actually go to Candlelight City quite yet, because I want to show off the surfing spots that I know. Um, most of them, I might miss a couple, but I don't know. I'll try to find them all, I guess. But uh, if I can go to my town map real quick. So we are here in Heartland City. Candlelight City is just west of, um, I almost said east. Candlelight City is almost, is west of, um... Jubilee City, which is right here, so we just have to go west of Jubilee City, because that's where the uh, little dock was that uh, we couldn't progress any further because we couldn't like surf on water or anything. But now we can. But I'm gonna go all the around some places just to show off where I can surf and stuff, including like the um, the uh, Orenburg Gate. That was also a good place to surf too, because we can actually access more now. Um, so I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real quick. Okay, so. Let's see here, we can switch up our Pokemon, um, yes, <laughs> Karen kind of ran away with the levels there for a second. Okay, no I didn't mean to do that, shoot, I meant to switch to the wrong Pokemon. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll order it like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna end the part right here, so let's spin then on my Pokemon diamond redo walk the guide part and the next part will take on some surfing areas and do some side quests i guess and then um in the next next part i guess we can head to cantaloupe city but we have to get to cantaloupe city so we have to head to cantaloupe city first so yeah this one giant go again i would like to thank for watching again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my pokemon diamond redo walkthrough guide <laughs>